well, why do I have to like bring my body into this? You know, why can't I just, and I think there's a lot of us that, as you said, we go through our, our lives so disembodied mm-hmm. and we want to rationalize everything. We want to sort of manage everything up here in our brains and kind of ignore what's going on in the rest, right? Yeah. So why do you find that it's so important to help bring the body into this work? I you find bringing the body into the work is de-shaming. Because a lot of anger is your nervous system trying to keep you safe because your nervous system is detecting threat and it is reacting in the best way. A nervous system knows how to respond to threat. And I, why I say that's de-shaming is because these patterns within our nervous systems, they they have their origins within our childhood and it's not, we can bring it under our control, but it's not necessarily initially within our control to control our body. Our body is just doing what it's doing to try to keep us safe and to try to keep us alive. And why that can be de-shaming is it's a little bit like saying it's not entirely your fault it's not like it's not just your sort of like it's not entirely within your willful control now Mm -hmm. you can take steps to tend to your nervous system to soothe your nervous system but i think in the initial instance i find it to be de-shaming and it can be quite liberating for people to know that they don't just have to be whirling around in their head there's things that they can do within their body which can be supportive and soothing and i've said that word soothing quite a few times because i think often that is what parents who are highly sensitive and parents who are quick to anger need is a lot of soothing Mm -hmm. and I think a lot of that soothing can come from body up rather than just whirling around in your head trying to logic and rationalize. Soothing is a body up process. Mm 